it's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to episode 2 of the Testrom Wallaroo walkthrough. In the last episode, we just started Wallaroo and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not disappointed. I mean, we haven't seen very much just yet, but I'm excited to see what lies ahead. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Feast your eyes on the Kingsland region of the Outback, known for its rugged beauty and some say mystical energy. Legend says buried somewhere in Kingsland are the bones of a forgotten king who tried to tame the land. But the land refused, and instead the king succumbed to the elements, never to be seen again. Spooky. So it'd be wise to start our adventure with some spiritual counsel. Are you going to meet with the ancient thought leaders of the Drovers? They will indeed help in our quest to reach the Dreaming. Oh, sure. I have a Kanga Guru we can meet. Just follow me. The area is really pretty. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is our second dungeon. Kanga Guru Shrine. Oh, no! The blessed Kanga Guru, keeper of the Outback's secret wisdom, is being threatened by a squad of lethal huntsmen spiders. Wait, what? We have come from the fallen Arachna Empire to serve the Great Prince. The wizard is wanted on Novus. You will return or be devoured. Elusive prey makes for a more interesting hunt. Others will follow. You will be ensnared. You beauty. You defeated those dangerous and unexpected spiders. Yes, the outback is full of dangers, but you're safe now. Indeed. I knew you'd defeat them. My mystical second sight told me. Is it just me or do the characters in this world look like weird? Like, like very human like features? It's kind of weird looking in their eyes. I am so grateful your path led you here in my darkest hour. Truly, this is a sign of the change times. The spiders made threats that'll haunt me forever. I felt very unsafe. It's not what I signed up for when I, uh, answered my spiritual calling. Yes, Will, it's in the past now and we are in the present. Let's get to the reason we've sought you out, oh wise one. My friend seeks the dreaming. Right, of course. Many seek the dreaming. It clarifies your goals and brings your hopes into being. It is profound inspiration in the purest form. The dream waters are difficult to find. My sacred divining rods could lead the way, but they were stolen by the bushwhackers that roam these lands. Now that sounds like an adventure, eh, mate? I know you can do it. The hero always gets the adventure they're ready for. Go find those divining rods. Okay, this is technically like our first real mob battle, so here we go. Ow! You can have your divining rods, but they won't lead you to any dream water around here. The crocodile hunter got too advanced! My heart is lightened by the return of these sacred divining rods. Vital tools I need to commune with the spirit energies of the ethos. I now sense that something is amiss in the intricate harmonies that weave together the tapestry of wildest wallaroo. The essence of this land, the dreaming, is under threat. I sense dream water in great peril. Over there, in the Lost King's mine. Crikey, the croc hunter can't have dream water. It'll help him achieve all his nefarious plans. We have to stop him. Yes, you must. I see you have a camp set up. I will await you there. The music is really, really good in this world too. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get tired of it after I do this world like six times, but 
so far, I really do feel like I'm already liking this world more than Novus. And definitely Lemuria. Lemuria was such a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. You're about to get more trouble than you bargained for! With dream water? The crocodile hunter will conceive plans you can't possibly foil! Watch out, punk! Underestimating me is a tragic mistake! You think you can stop us? You think we've crossed the... Line? You think we've crossed some made-up line between right and wrong? Fool! There's only inspiration and ambition for those bold enough to claim it. Yeah, no, yeah, like the crocodile hunter. No one, not even you and your friend can stop him. Let's keep going. That dream water they stole must be close. On this day, we shall emerge victorious. The story of our feats shall be passed on to the generations. That on this day, no time for a big soliloquy. Get him! Soliloquy? That's a new word. I haven't heard that one before. Let us depart! Our failure offends my very soul. What a bunch of amateurs. Let's find the croc hunter. It's Steve Irwin! Crocodile hunter! I knew we were destined to meet once more! Wait, Steve Irwin was not the crocodile hunter. What was he? Dundara! Our long-standing rivalry will come to an end here and now. Though I can't say it hasn't been entertaining, mate. Oh wait, he was the crocodile hunter. With Dreamwater, my brilliant schemes are even more brilliant. Who knew that was even possible? You don't stand a chance. <laughs> this is not a very difficult boss at all. And it took me this long to just realize that this is like our first real boss. Like it didn't even register in my head that this was a boss until just now. This isn't the end, Dandara. Make no mistake, we'll meet again. Now this dream water is in good hands. Hey, wizard, here. Have some as a souvenir of the time you saved Wallaroo. Let's go back to camp. I rate him like a 2 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. But I'm still shook that Steve Irwin was named the Crocodile Hunter because I thought that he loved all animals. Ooh, this is pretty right here. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Ugh, wait, what? Oh no, they're here! How can they be here? The true raiders! The barbarians at the gates of Hope Springs! The Emu Riders! Kragi! We gotta get out of here! Tell Guru to send help! Ah, you've returned with the dream... What? Emu Riders? In Kingsland? That's not supposed to happen! They ran where? Oh... Oh no... That path leads to the Outback. The real Outback! Dundarab doesn't stand a chance out there! No, he seemed quite daring to me. Yeah, no, yeah. Dundara's previously stated prowess may have been exaggerated, but you're the genuine article. Can you save my business partners? Business partners? But, but, but there was a rivalry and... Uh, wizard, let me see that dream water. Hmm. Hmm. This is fake. What scheme are you running? Oh, best let Dundora explain. I've... I've... Bye! <sighs> Very well. Let us venture to this real Outback, wizard. So we were in, like, the fake Outback this whole time, and there's a real Outback somewhere. Ooh! Oh my god, this is so pretty! Oh my god, this reminds me of the aeroplanes! So this is the true Wallaroo. Hmm... Each new region is drier than the last. Drier than I remember. The youthful koalas on emus are new as well. Indeed, I thought emus were extinct. Perhaps one of these young rascals will know where to find our previous guides. One, two, we're coming for you. You may need to persuade them aggressively. I can already tell I hate them. But this area is so cool! I love open areas like this, it's so fun. Three, four, he's knocking at the door. Yeah, I absolutely hate the emu riders. That did not sound helpful. 
It seems we'll have to track Mr. Dandara ourselves. Fortunately, a path should present itself. Crocs haven't been common in Wallaroo since the ruse ejected them in the Great Punch-Out. Meaning croc track should be distinct. Explore the outback, wizard. Find Mr. Dundara's footprints and follow them. Dude, imagine how hard this part would be for someone who's colorblind. Like red and green colorblind. This part would be so difficult. If you are red and green colorblind and trying to do this part, I am so sorry. Ugh, don't eat me. I'm a scaly and would get stuck in your teeth. Ugh, oh, it's you, my faithful companion. Your old mate Dundara seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Pinned down by Goannas. If you could route the Bogans, I could sneak right past. They are so cute. That's showing them, mate. Whew, thanks a bunch. Normally, of course, I could have handled them myself. But I'm still a bit woozy from that last row with my old foe. No, it looked like you were fleeing in terror. I was laying a clever trap with cunning and skill and ropes and things. One, two, one, two. Oh my God. I, I literally, like, I, oh my God. I, I can't even describe how much I hate them. Oh, crikey. Not these guys again. Flee, flee in terror. One, two, no escape for you. Like, they think they're doing something, but really they're just cringe. They're just embarrassing themselves. One, two, the water don't belong to you. Water? You mean the dream water? I didn't, I didn't take any. That stuff wasn't even real. Three, four, you lie no more. Are they supposed to be like emo? Like, is it supposed to be like a pun? Like emo, emu writers? Like... Is that their interpretation of emo or something? I don't know, I just, what's up with the rhyming? Like, oh my God, I just, I hate these mobs so much. Five, six, seven, eight, you have just sealed your fate. Well done, faithful. Yeah, forget it. Jigs up, I guess. Yeah, sorry, mate. I don't mean any harm. Just come on, I'll explain. You betrayed us, Crocodile Dundara. You betrayed us. I don't have a crush on him anymore. I've decided I'm not attracted to liars and he's a liar. So this may surprise you, but I am not in fact the Outback's greatest explorer. No, it's true. I'm just, I guess, a performer. My real name's Paul. I just put on a show. Tourists come for the walkabout. I give them a little adventure, a taste of the dream water. And they go home all the happier. Nobody walks across the whole outback anymore. Come on, look at it. Did I say the water I gave you was fake? So I, as you can see, the purple pond, once the purple lake, has kind of dried up. I blame the heat. Nothing some food coloring can't fix, right? Right, anyway, hate to ask, but you seem capable. I need you to rescue Steve. You know, the croc hunter. He's my business partner, yeah? Oh my god, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. I'll head to your camp in a bit. Maybe you and your old Drummel pal can find Steve. There are so many references in this world. So, Crocodile Dundara was just a showman peddling fake dream water. Too bad. I guess we'll have to manage the walkabout on our own. I'm not surprised few do them anymore. Normally, one must take several drinks of dream water along the way to bolster their minds. It is that bolstering that keeps them sane in the dreaming source. With the scattered lakes depleted, that task would prove difficult. Worry not, my friend. There is still much dreaming to be found deep in the wilds, beyond the Great Barrier, and Sybil's branch will shield us. For now, We'd best focus on our missing croc hunter. I know a ritual of locating, but I will need some of his possessions. The emu riders may have them. I will also need water from the local pumps. Though dream water would be more potent, regular water should suffice. Two, three, no escape 
for thee. Excellent. Water binds all things, wizard. It is the engine of life, the origin point of sentience in a way. So let me just douse these belongings. And there, then it's just a simple incantation. Locus Pocus. Drink some of the water, wizard. There you go. And now you should intuitively know where to find the croc hunter. Almost as though an arrow were pointing your way. Well, there is an arrow pointing my way. <laughs> it's a big yellow arrow at the bottom of my screen. Are this then a strange face? Another towny tourist come for the eternal sand eye? Eyes like a wizard to me? From the place what has the tree. Lots of places got trees. We got trees. You brain drained? No, no, I heard it. Wizard City is its name. That's the most brain drained name ever. We'll lucky trap this one. They'll tell us. Okay, now this area definitely reminds me of caramel. Oh my god, how many times am I gonna fizzle? I am so embarrassing. Wizard Cityers know how to fight a fight. There ain't no Wizard City. Come on, we need helpsies. You're all was as now, Wizard. <laughs> We're birded up for bear. Prezzies from the Arcane Toad. Weapons to trample stomp all Wallaroo. Sure, some are too old big for IDs, but... Eight, nine, some fit just fine. Mussies! Save his ass, oh lord, very tall! Oh my god, I thought he said save his ass. Help! Help! This mad koala is mad! Mad, I tell you! You're not a new. News are soft and complainy. You're a wizard. You're the wizard. Arcane Toad said you were a giant that strode the spiral. But I this. Now I too am giant. Yes, I am. You're making walkabouts all the way to the dream stuff and want to get by me? What a puny plan. But Lord Very Tall, is generous. So just walk away, and I will spare your life. Just walk away, and there will be an end to the kicking. I await your answer. <laughs> Waiting boars, kicking! Thank you, uh, my terrible foe. But one day, I... Ah, Paul told you everything, did he? Yes, he did, Steve. Sorry about the ruse. It was all a bit of fun. Usually there isn't anything that hazardous in Kingsland anymore. But those wild ones are different. And I don't want to know why. Where is Paul? By your camp? Excellent. I'll see you there. I'm telling you, Paul, it's like nothing I've ever seen. Giant birds with tiny wings, faster than wombats, meaner than drop bears. What even are those things? I'd swear they're like those old legends, uh, emos or something. But they're extinct, and they took me dream water. This would be the false dream water you've been peddling? What? Yes, technically, but it's not my fault. The purple lake dried up, so we had to make do. Have you perhaps considered why the Purple Lake dried up? Goannas? Ah, it is late. Let us sleep here tonight and make for the city in the morning. Wizard, rest by the fire when you're ready. Rest by the fire in Outback. <gasps> why? <gasps> why can't I leave? Oh my why god. Why am I still here? Everything is wrong. I reject this. I reject you all! Oh my gosh, this area is so pretty! But it's like, it's like Novus though. Also, why is design an emo emu thingy? Wizard, how are you? One, two, 
I'm coming for you. Um, what? Wizard, are you okay? I think I just had like a nightmare. You dreamed of Dazain? Interesting. Maybe the dirt from Novus and the Sybil cutting we carry have facilitated a brief connection. Or perhaps it was just a dream. In either event, you should get our associates back to town and then we can continue our journey. Phew, safe at last. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crocodile Dundara. Ugh, forgot about the judges. I take it you two are still sneaking out of the city against orders and selling your bootleg dream water? Would you believe... No? No. You will be taken away. Wizard, let us talk. Did I not tell you leaving town while the barbarians are at the gate is against the law? What, are you gonna put me in jail now? Yes, I know they're just a bunch of larrikins on resurrected birds. What I don't know is what they want. Have you heard them? They speak nonsense. They were mad about selling dream water, eh? So, they're just drovers after all. <laughs> oh, oh, drovers are a sort of political faction. They're all about keeping the dreaming for themselves, while townies like me, like those who built this city, believe in sharing it. These emu kids came riding out of drover territory, but they are not like normal. Most drovers are happy as long as we townies stay away from the Great Barrier. At any rate, their mighty birds are easily bested by simple fencing. They will never breach these walls. What? What the heck is this? Whoa. <laughs> what a jittery! We're being invaded! I need to rally the judges. Uh, that means you're deputized, wizard. Go find that emu rider. One, two, first gamey muse. Two, three, four, through skies we soar. And that's the end of episode two of the Test Realm Wallaroo walkthrough. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far. I still really like this world. I was super impressed with the dream that we had and the catapult animation. I'm like genuinely excited to record more episodes of this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!